Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm showing a new product from a, an Italian small sort of startup brand, Great Fountain. Um, now, I reviewed the Great Fountain um, brass ink cartridge stoppers a while ago and uh, found them to be great. I still use them. Um, they are great for travel. Um, and Gabriel over there, who uh, runs Great Fountain, you can, there's some information, you can check out their social media. It's a, you know, it's lovely. Um, has come up, he wants to make a notebook and a lot of his notebooks that he's been making use Tomer of a paper. He's changed the paper uh, for a pocket notebook to something a little bit more kind of affordable and available. And uh, he sent it to me to have a look at. Firstly, how cute is that design? I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but I love that. Um, comes with a little belly band on it, which gives some information, which I will go through in a second. And this is a simple pocket size, so field notes size, staple bound notebook. Now, a couple of things straight up. Firstly, this material being very glossy um, is somewhat resilient, but also is um, like, I've been using this and it sort of doesn't like to stay shut now. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you have it, keep it in covers and things like that, it'll be a bit easier, uh, but it does kind of, it'll, it might get easier again as, this, as the spine gets a little bit more, you know, used in. What we have here is um, there. They call this the square dot graph. So it's all uh, the. It's kind of like a dot grid, but it's done with little crosses. Uh, so it's kind of like, once again, another you know, bridging the gap between the dot grid and the the square grid. So I'm going to talk about this. I've done some writing tests, and uh, let's see what it's all about. So Great Fountain, Italy. So they're made in Italy, as I said. Pocket notebook. It's 52 pages of 100 GSM pure white paper. Now, they aren't lying when they say pure white. For the sake of the exercise, here is the Midori like cream or ivory paper. So you can see it is very, very white. And I like that. I like that, you know, colors are very true on it. Made in Italy and it is labeled as fountain pen friendly, but then lower on the website, there's a disclaimer that may feather with very wet inks. We'll talk about that in just a second. The dimensions of this are 89, by 140 millimeters or 3.5 by 5.5 inches, which is, as I said, field note size. So if you use a field notes notebook and you want something that's a bit more fountain pen, fountain pen friendly, because as we know, field notes is not, uh, but if you've got covers and things that you use for those, this might be a good option. It comes in two versions, which is plain or the squared cross graph, which is this. Um, okay, so this, each notebook costs four euros. So that's four euros for one pocket notebook, which roughly is $4.32 US, $5.84 Australian, or three pounds 32 US, uh, three pounds 32 like the UK. Now, uh, that's the prices as I am filming this. So, you know, like the conversion may change a little bit and things like that. I think that is a reasonable price point for a good quality pocket notebook. You're also buying something that is has a specific design. The cover design is by Sofia Fior, Fiorucci, uh, but as I said, good quality paper, you know, small company, all that kind of stuff. Now let's talk about the ink tests I've done. So I've written with a range of fountain pens, Lamy 2000 with a medium nib, with Robert Osser Great Southern Ocean, or Gravitas Delrin with a medium. Most of these are mediums, but they write differently, of course, with Leonardo Classic Sepia. Uh, Lamy Safari with medium, with Sailor Irori, Platypus Pens, Quokka with a medium, which is a Yovo nib with Diamine Bilberry, and then a Jinhao 992 with a fine nib with Noodler's Base Day Blue. I've also done a little like, swab, like, swab of each of those inks. And then I've written with a Retro 51 Rollable, a Pilot G2 Gel Pen, a Ballpoint Pen, Highlighter, a Tombow Mono 2B Pencil, and then Eraser, which doesn't erase super well. Um, that's okay. Sharpie, and then I've done some like, just like the, an ink, I drew a triangle with ink and then moved it around with a water brush pen as I ran it over the writing of it, just to see sort of how the paper responds to water. And then in terms of dry time, <coughs> um, with Diamine Blue Black, two seconds was still very wet, 15 was still wet, and by 30 it was completely dry. On uh, Toma River paper, that ink dries in about about 20 seconds. So this is probably about the same, if not slightly quicker than Tom or River in the same pen with the same ink. So let's look at the reverse of the page. So what we find is that Bay State Blue tries to come through, but none of the other fountain pen ink does come through at all. There's a little bit of show through, but it's actually not too bad. 100 GSM, particularly with a tight weave paper like this, like it's not toothy, it's quite smooth. It's got, it feels like it's a fairly high weave paper. 
in terms of how it performs, this is what we get. So yeah, none of the fountain pens come through, none of the other stuff comes through. Sharpie comes through. Where I've used water, it's tried to break through as well, you can see slightly. Um, but I think actually that performs fairly well. A lot of paper doesn't respond well to uh, base state blue or Sharpie, and as this can be seen, but like the other fountain pens do perform very well. On the front side of this page, you can see there's no feathering. You do get sheen, like if you look at Diamond Bilberry here, there's sheen on that. We get some shading, if you look at the Robert Oster particularly, um, but I think it's it's a relatively, how do I put this? It seems like a relatively absorbent paper. It's not quite like Toma River or Rhodia where the ink sort of sits on the top and dries. It's kind of a middle ground between something like that and say Midori, where ink sort of, yeah, sits into the paper. Um, but yeah, there's no feathering. As you can see, there was no bleed. Show through is kind of minimal. Um, I think it does nicely. I think like it, it's a fairly it's a fairly good paper. And uh, when you're buying a, a notebook, that for me the quality of the paper is paramount because I write with fountain pens because I write you know with wet you know rollerballs and things like that. I need my you know notebooks to be able to handle that. And so a pocket notebook that doesn't use Tom or River paper but still is fountain pen friendly is really great to find. Um, as I said, small company in Italy, I'm sure the distribution will improve. Things like, I think there's Etsy pages and things like that to be able to purchase it. Uh, but you are getting good quality paper, and as I said, there are the two options. So there's there's a lot going for this. I th but I think, first and foremost, what it's really, really got going for it is the quality of that paper. It writes beautifully on it. It's quite smooth, as I said, so your pens glide across it. It, perform it doesn't bleed. There's little feathering. We get sheen, we get some shade. The colours look vibrant because it's a lovely pure white paper. I think this is really interesting. Now, I was going to talk about this disclaimer. Some of these are pretty wet. And, like, that platypus pen's writes really wet. You can see by the amount of sheen you get on the bilberry there. It writes wet. And then I've used, like, you know, water, and, of course, it's sort of feathered and gone around with that. But from the actual fountain pens, I think it's, like, unless you're using flex pens or super wet double broads and things like that, I think you're going to be okay. They say this is a great pen, you know, notebook for everyday use. I think they're bang on. So this was the Great Fountain Italy Pocket Notebook with the cat design. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Head over to their website and their social media. Check it out. Support the company. I think the more support they get, the more likely they are to, uh, you know, keep developing products. And a great fountain made in Italy there. And on the belly band there, you can see the website, www.greatfountainitaly.com. They've also got their social media as well on Instagram and things like that to check out. Um, so support them, get in touch, all that kind of stuff. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Yeah, hit the notifications button. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, let me know. Or if there is a way you would like to support the channel by sponsoring a review, I would love to hear from you. A big thank you to Gabriel there at Great Fountain Italy for sending uh, me this notebook to review. Uh, I think you can see the paper speaks for itself. Uh, it's quite impressive. So uh, yeah, good job and uh, thank you for watching. And in the meantime, enjoy your notebooks, enjoy your writing, and I'll talk to you soon.